Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump invites top CEOs to dinner, and every single one of them did the exact same thing at his table. When President Trump was on the campaign trail, he made a promise that he would bring the world's CEOs together and negotiate some huge deals that would help bring America back from the brink of total collapse. Then candidate Trump promised America would see better days in just the first four years of his presidency. We're headed into year two, and President Trump has fulfilled a lot of his campaign promises. Unemployment is at an all-time low since the early 70s, and black unemployment is the lowest it's ever been. I bet you won't even hear Al Sharpton admitting that. His type love making money off the backs of poor folks. That's the democratic way of life. President Trump recently flew to Davos where he had a meeting with some of the world's most powerful CEOs. He let them know that America was open for business and ready to make some huge deals. The media claimed President Trump was lurking in the pockets of special interest. I guess the media doesn't know how business actually works. You have to make good deals if you want to make it in the world. Take it from President Trump on making deals. He's made billions of dollars off good deals. This seems to be another problem the media has. I will always put America first. Just like the leaders of other countries should put their countries first. But America first does not mean America alone, the president declared, adding when the United States grows, so does the world. American prosperity has created countless jobs around the globe and the drive for excellence, creativity and innovation in the United States has led to important discoveries that help people everywhere live more prosperous and healthier lives. A senior administration official previewing the speech told reporters it will deliver three principles first is that America is open for business again in the sense that there's been no better time to build, to invest, to hire in the United States, adding the second theme that I think that you will hear the president speak to relates to America's engagement in the world, continuing finally, I think you'll hear the president articulate a vision of free and sovereign nations cooperating toward shared goals, peace, security, prosperity. Daily Caller President Donald Trump convened a dinner with 15 major European CEOs in Davos to urge them to invest in the U.S. Dash and the business titans made down payments and presidential goodwill by repeatedly congratulating their host. In a scene familiar to viewers of Trump cabinet meetings where officials lavish praise on their boss, the European tycoons gathered at Davos reminded the trade-skeptic Trump of how many millions they had poured into the country, and complimented him on some recent victories. The head of German firm Siemens kicked off the praise telling the president, congratulations on your tax reform. We said it, right, Trump told company head Joe Kayser, whom he praised for his modesty. I assume you've done good? Trump asked. We did very well as a matter of fact, Kaiser replied, saying the company was boosting investment in Charlotte, North Carolina. Joining the celebration of the new $1.5 trillion tax cut law was Eldar Cedar of Norway's Statoil, who said the firm was increasing production offshore. I would like to congratulate you, on the tax reform," Cedar told the president. I think that is really good news I guess for all of us here but also for the oil and gas in our industry," he added. Good news for a lot of people, interjected Trump. Cedar threw in praise for Trump's deregulation, which has touched offshore drilling. Oil and gas is also a heavily regulated business. So your thinking and your actions on what you're doing on regulations is good news," he said. The head of Nokia a leading telecommunications company, praised Trump for a still unfulfilled campaign promise. I'm very happy and pleased with your infrastructure focus, said Rajiv Suri, head of the Finnish company. Daily Mail. Liberals will tell you that President Trump is the laughing stock of the world. It's funny that every time he goes to another country he's welcomed with open arms, and parades in his honor. Saudi Arabia welcomed Trump with open arms, and so did most of Europe. President Trump seems to have a bromance with the president of France, Emmanuel Macron. The mainstream media and the far left have been wrong every step of the way when it comes to bashing President Trump. These people can't find one thing wrong with him, and that's why we have fake news flying off the shelves. If you can convince the public someone is bad, then they will go down in history as that. Good thing Trump is always on the battlefield waiting for them to strike. The world's CEOs think the president is doing a damn fine job, and so do we. America has never seen such greatness in as little as two years. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.